Hello everyone, 3D Hero here, and welcome to today's weekly reset, where we'll be covering this week's events and limited bounties for the 23rd of March to the 30th of March. Firstly, let's go over this week's limited bounties, we have the following. Hunt Kulea Ku 3 times, slay 5 brute weapons, and complete 5 9 star quests. During this, you'll be rewarded with golden egg, golden weapon print, and the general armor spears, plus silver weapon prints, like usual. The first event we have is the Greeting the Glutlands event quest, which tasks you with taking down the Great Jaguars, Puke Puke, and Paolumo in the arena. This is a 4 star quest which is pretty simple to complete in a short amount of time, as the monster shouldn't be that much of a threat to you. Plus, once you complete the quest, you'll be rewarded with meal vouchers, that can vary from 3 to 5 amounts in the end reward screen. Next, we have the fresh Cleave to the Bone event quest, where you'll be put up against Odegaron and Radaban in the arena. This is a 5 star quest and might be a bit challenging for some, as Radaban can dish out the damage, but Odegaron could chase you down and stop you from healing. Now, the good thing about having the two in the same area is that they both share a turf with each other. So this is an opportunity to get free damage out of the two. After that, you can either bait them into attacking each other, or focus on one of them that you find much more easy to take down first. Whatever you do, just take your time and use the rhyme as best as you can to survive. Next, we have the track in the delivery event quest, which tasks you with searching 10 blue barrel in the Elder Reese's area. This is a 9 star quest where all you have to do is collect the following items and you'll be done. However, like the previous event called Simple Task, in this event, you'll be able to gather Tempered Elder Dragon footprints for more Tempered Investigations. This is a godsend for many people who are running low or don't have any more Tempered Elder Dragon Investigations to use, as you can put on your best gathering gear and farm out the area until the timer runs out, so make good use of the event until the last. And lastly, a weekly challenge quest in the arena puts us up against a Tobidachi and a Paolumo, which are a 4-star quest, and a Nojianti Slaying quest, which is an 8-star quest. It will be slightly challenging to those who do it solo and don't prepare, so I advise you to do this with co-op in mind. And that everyone is the end of that. I hope the video provided the information you need to know more about the events and what they may hold for you. If you enjoyed the video, then a like and sub would be appreciated. If not, then leave a dislike. I'll go with the video to see what I need to improve on in the near future. Once again, thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.